This video presents ARCHICAD's Classification Manager and Property Manager. Classifications for construction elements or zones can be handled in a centralized way within the scope of the project using the new Classification Manager function. Here you can create, edit, as well as import or export classification systems. The tree view on the left side of the dialog displays all the created or loaded classification systems of the current design project. ARCHICAD 21 has a standard classification system. In the system, you can find all of the standard elements and zones with standard properties. The search field is above the tree view panel. ARCHICAD will display the available classifications and systems using a dual column view if you start a search. You may also create a new classification or system or duplicate an existing one using the New button. By using the Duplicate Selected option, we can create a copy of the selected classification or system item with an identical definition. If multiple items are selected, the duplicate option is not available. We can create new classification systems. First, we must fill in the name, version, and date fields. Filling in the source and description fields is optional. A new classification can also be created. In this case, only the ID field must be entered. Filling in the rest of the fields is optional. Here we must also specify the element type that we want to create a classification for. Model elements, or zones, or both of them or none of them. We can create additional classifications for subcategories in order to establish a hierarchical classification system. Please note the Show Hotlink Conflicts checkbox. This is used when a hotlinked module might contain an identical property as the host file, but with conflicting property definitions. In this case, the hotlinked module's property is in conflict with that of the host file. The conflicting property is appended to the list in Property Manager, but is shown only if you check Show Conflicts with Properties in Hotlinks. Use Delete to remove the selected item, yet please note that the associated properties will not be deleted. The exact role and function of the Import and Export options are explained in another video. Let's have a closer look at the Definition panel. This panel displays additional editable information about the selected classification system or classification item. This is not available if multiple items are selected. Let's see the definition panel of classification systems. Here we can review and edit the name, version, date, source, and description fields. If we select a classification, the Definition panel displays the corresponding ID, name, and description fields. We can also see if the selected classification is for model elements or for zones. So the first and second fields, which are the name or ID and version or name, must contain at least one case-sensitive character. The white spaces at the beginning and the end will not be considered. The Available Properties panel enables you to select and associate properties with classifications. The preview displays the list of properties of a selected item. If multiple items are selected, all the associated properties are displayed. The All, None, and Custom radio buttons can be used to define the association of properties with classifications. All or none of the properties can be associated with a classification item. We may also define selective property associations using the Edit option. All the properties of a design project can be displayed in groups. Enabled checkboxes indicate if a property is assigned to the selected classification item. The search field may also be used. 
When clicking into the search field, groups and properties are displayed in dual column view. The All or the available filters may also be applied. The transfer function may be used to transfer properties or property combinations between items. The pickup option may be used when a single item is selected. This picks up the properties of the selected item. The inject option may be used to inject the previously selected properties. This may be used for multiple items as well. The property manager may also be accessed from here, and vice versa. Please note that teamwork functions are unavailable for those dialogues that were opened via another dialog. To reserve or release such dialogues, please go back to the main dialog. So, for instance, you can't reserve the property manager dialog in teamwork if you opened it from the classification manager dialog. Please note if you opened these dialogues as sub-dialogues and created new items. When you return to the main dialog, the new items will be highlighted. ARCHICAD introduces a flexible way to classify elements and spaces for better support of national or company standards and for unprecedented interoperability between project participants.